forgot to unmute <laughs> so good morning it's Ros Boundy Psychic Medium here and it's a beautiful morning well it's cloudy means it's cooler <laughs> so for me that's a beautiful morning on a Wednesday the 9th of February yes I just had to double check that <laughs> Um, yeah, so it is a beautiful morning. I hope it is wherever you are in the world. Now, I did have to take a quick uh, detour out to feed peanuts. She was looking at me with doughy eyes and I've got so busy setting up my screen that, uh, poor thing, she was getting hungry. So I am a little later than I normally would be, but that's lovely, isn't it? Now, I'm going to ask you to tune into your psychic mediumship mm, abilities, if you've got them, or just your psychic abilities, or just your connection with spirit, or just that gut feeling. Just go for what you're receiving as I'm reading through the card reading itself. Now, I am going to, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have got uh, someone there that's saying Facebook use. I'm just going to do a quick back house type of a comment rather than putting it on every page i'm just going to hopefully that facebook's going to behave in the background and i'll just put a comment here for you allison if you could click on that uh, faq tv link just above your comment then we'll be able to see your name in future <laughs> future um connections with you from here just going to turn off that scroller because I think that's enough time to let your friends know that we're live. Uh, we are now on my <laughs> timer here, three minutes into starting the live stream. Now I've just got to go over here and I'm hoping it's not too distracting having that little border around each side because, uh, and that's on the B Live because on the Body Soul app, which I still haven't put the link up for to pe for people. I'll do that shortly. Um, yeah, I don't know that it actually shows. Well, it is showing to the Body Soul app. I'm looking over there because that's that side. I should have mirrored my cameras. It looks a bit weird. Look, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I won't worry about it. Here we go. Here are the cards. And I'll go through the hellos as well. Oh, that border does look a bit too busy some, in some respects. I'm taking it off. I'll take it off because I can. That's the wonders of this type of technology. And as much as it did look pretty for an opening, it's distracting me as a reader, I can tell you. So here we go. We've got Holly saying hello. Hey, Ros. So um, you need some positive vibes. Good. We'll all do that for you, Holly. Sounding like you do need it to be asking and good morning to Kim as she's driving to work so it's lovely to have you here in the background there listening away and Diane good morning you love the garden <laughs> I thought well I'd put it there as a bit uh, as a bit of a, a um, instead of uh, my face or what else did I have just the table spread I had I had this as the background um and, of course, there's not the birds in the bird bath. Yesterday when I had it on, I thought I had water in the bird bath. I didn't. It had gone dry again. The heat really does evaporate it very quickly. So it's 4.32 on Tuesday the 8th there. Yeah, so you're actually in Canada, isn't it? Vancouver or somewhere? I know you're, yes, you are over that way. So it's an evening time. We're all around the world, aren't we? So, and that is Alison, I think. So there we go. And we've got Pari. Oh, I, I'm really not sure how to pronounce your name. Puriwa. Hopefully I got that right. Puriwa. And a little darling peanuts. Yes, her little eyes. She just looked so hungry and patting the ground and urgent. So I did go and do that feed the doggy and there's good morning from carol so lovely to have you here and we've got rena good morning to you as well and <laughs> you oh you liked the framing did you oh that's good uh you love the border it's on my time tv i can put it on if you want again that's only a matter of doing that <laughs> so i can do that i'll put it back <laughs> Good morning to you too, Sarah. I think the board is there, uh, Ontario, Canada, Sudbury. Yeah, 
because I know there's some that I'll connect with who are Vancouver. Um, yes, well, good good evening to you. Good afternoon. it would be afternoon moving into your evening. Look, I hope it's all lovely there. I'm pretty sure it's fairly cold there, though, isn't it? You have the... Uh, um, well, I've seen some photos of snow in that direction. I'm not sure whether that was someone that's a friend in the US somewhere or whether it was Canadian. Don't know. It. We all live where we live, and uh, hopefully it's for you that special place that you can live so centred from your heart space too because the Valentines, I presume this border is something to do with Valentines. Anyway, we'll get into the reading. What we've got for our owl card this morning is this beautiful owl. There are two things we should give our children. That is roots and the other is wings. I think if what we can do is just plant the good seeds, the good foundation for what they're moving into for their futures, I think that's absolutely perfect and it does allow them to fly, doesn't it? And we've got here in the Inner Soul Guidance in, I've got to find where the right gap is. The Inner Soul Guidance Oracle that is Leanne Winston and Deb Gilmore created these. Beautiful set of cards. And the one that we've got is Breathe. And I'll bring it up to focus. So release what no longer serves you and find your inner energy and balance. It's a beautiful card. I love the gilding on these cards that they've created. So I'll try and get that back where it was so that we can just see that Breathe. Right, and into our deck. Hi, Dave. Lovely to see you here on the Body Soul app. So I'm reading this from my iPad. So when you do the cards, can you say what they are for us who can't see? Yeah, I do describe them a little bit. I'll do a bit more detail in them, Dave, for you. Uh, you're still learning each one of them, so thanks. I can do that. Might just take a little bit longer, but we have the time to really get into what is our card spread for today. Um, I do try to keep them within the 15 minutes is what I started at. Well, actually, I started at 10. It stretched out to 20 minutes, and sometimes it takes half an hour, and it doesn't matter. We are investing our time in really learning a little bit more of how our days may move ahead with the energy that we've got, okay? So the one that we've got in our home space, and Dave, they're actually sorted in what looks like a cross. Um, so that we've got one row in the centre and one column from that central pivot card, essentially. So we've got, and on the left-hand side, we've got the home space energies that we've got the choice card in this one this morning, which looks like a beautiful stairway, almost if you imagine the stairways to heaven, but it's got the one to the left, the one to the right, curving beautifully with the gorgeous red carpet going up to that central divided section as the one part of the stair and then it goes off to the left and the right with the daylight being the, the sunshine on the left and the moonlight and the night energies on the right. So it's almost that yin and yang as far as our masculine feminine, you know, all those things that that can mean for us. So that is our card that's in the home space and the energies around what is that you would imagine is our home. Then we're moving across, we go across to the right hand side of that pivot card in the cross, and that is in the workspace energy, Dave. So that actually brings in the energy today of the dice card. Now, that for you, Dave, it is one of the extended parts of the um, Sierra Marchetti. Lenneman deck, which I forgot to show people the cover of that. So I've just done that. Sarah Marchetti's Gilded Reverie Lenneman, and I do use the expanded edition. So it's got extra cards. And this dice card is card number 39. And in our workspace, it is uh, the depiction on it, Dave, is two dice, beautifully coloured with a lovely purple background to it. Then we are moving up to the third card in the sequence that I read is on top of the cross. So what we have there is actually the wishing, it's not the wishing well, it is the well. And that's card 41, which is another of the 
cards that come as part of the expanded edition of this deck that I use. And what it is, is in a beautiful field, there is a well with the back view behind, coming from behind it, some beautiful golden light of the sunshine, either as it's rising. I usually take this one as being the dawn. And what we have is that well with the bucket ready to roll. So that's in our unexpected energy space for today. So um, we're going to move right down to the fourth card in the sequence of how I read them and that's below that central card. What we have in this one, it is our role, the energy around this card for us. And what we have here is a beautiful stylized star. So it is the card that is the star card, card number 16. It has a zodiac natal will of the houses sitting behind this star and some beautiful colours with the blues and the golds of the depth of night type style. That's what it looks like. It does look like night time, of course, and it's just looking absolutely so beautiful with the focus being that a really red star centre that's within this one. It's a gorgeous card. And that's our role. What we're moving to in the central position of this spread is the outcome card, the fox is this one um, it's card number 14 in the Lanaman deck and it does have a very beautifully colored red fox as the central position in the picture but it's looking back at what is a fenced in chicken coop with the rooster on the top of the fence post in the distance and a beautiful uh, looks like the fox is heading back into the woods into its uh, home space haven um, and that is the outcome card or the pivot card, I usually call it. So hopefully that's enough description for you, Dave, of what the cards look like. As I come back to the home space card and actually looking at how the energy of this, uh, the choices card, the stairs in the home space, I mean, some homes do have staircases. In Australia, it's not all that common though becoming more so, it could be just take care as you're making your choice, you know, as you are moving up your stairs and steps, moving up and down in your steps. But really as far as the more metaphysical, that the more depth of meaning connecting with the spiritual realm, it is that being very sure of what steps you're taking in the decisions that you're going to make through your day to day in your home space so it could be that there is more decisions to make could be like with the physical level of things that you're deciding to buy sell shift around that type of thing but it's you know the home space is more than just the physical it really is the body mind soul so it's making those choices of what you what you're connecting energetically with it's making the choices of the family friends decisions that are needing to be made as well through your day and that can be at any point in the day so do consider with that connection you know do tap into help from your spiritual realm if you need to some decisions are easier to make just like that and i'm trying to click my fingers oh just doing it yay my thumb's starting to work again um Start to <laughs> consider those things that you're needing to make the choices about and connect with, you know, the spiritual help that you've got around you. You can. Some things automatic because we're on our path, we know where we're going and, you know, you don't even have to think about some of it. But, you know, tap into what might be needed as far as making those bigger choices if you think that's where you're needing to take it. So, and certainly once you've actually got to that point where you are taking that step to make that decision, it's done. There's no going back on this one. You, you're not going to be, you're going forward and then into that uh, energetic sense, into those other fields and realms and worlds once you've made that decision and it's a new pathway from there and then, okay? So, oh, good morning to you, Joseph, as well from uh, YouTube land. So thank you for popping in. Um just for you, Joseph, this is a general card spread reading as well. It's not something that I do individual card draws for. We're moving over now into what is the workspace and the dice. So anything, to me, that's just saying have fun. 
um, it, all, it will always, in my mind, bring up the game of Yahtzee, and that, for me, is fun. So on your workspace, um, bring in that, that joy, happiness, playfulness of what you can be choosing in your day-to-day. -day. And a lot of it in that workspace can be, like in this instance, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a potluck, unlike the home space where we've got that considered decision-making and choices what we have in our workspace is more the fun, the roll of the dice. It really is going to be a bit of a potluck of how they land and then taking it from there. It's being present in each of those moments and with that anticipation, oh, what's, what's it going to roll up with next? And then deciding from that moment, oh, I'm going to choose this to be in. If you've played Yahtzee, you know what I'm talking about, whether it's going to be one five in the five section or whatever, um, you know, could be three of a kind, those sorts of things. What you're going to do, how things land today is when you'll choose, make the decision. And it could be just so briefly, quickly done that you're moving on to the next thing because there's further die, 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 dice to roll, <laughs> do another roll, you know, that type of thing, as you would in a game of Yahtzee. And the way that I play it, it certainly is, um, <laughs> it rolls for uh, six sets, I think. Anyway, we'll move on to what that well is showing us in our day-to-day. -day. It is the unexpected energy, the unexpected card. So I'd see the well as being uh, available for whatever you're needing at that point in time that you need it so that if you're needing more water, you go up to the well and you drop the bucket and bring it up full of water. So any of the types of resources that you're needing to tap into through the day, you do have that there. Uh, you do have the ability and the strength to roll that handle around as it's needed and bring it up full or whatever you need from within that well of resources that is either the inner you or from what you actually physically have around and about you in your home or your workspace um, because that's our life, isn't it? Home and workspace and what we do within both of those. Now, our role really is to look. We're, we're down now at the star card in that fourth position of our role and the stars look, so much is actually predetermined on our natal chart. That's why that um, this zodiac wheel is sitting behind the star that is most dominant. I feel we focus on what we have in our life at this point in time, not looking too much forward, not looking too much back. We do have that learning and experience behind us that is standing us in good stead for where we are right now and where we put our focus where we put our energy is going to be where that shining bright light and stardom you know of ourselves out into the world is going to be and shining our light so we need to actually be in the fullness of who we are as far as how we have been created and grown into who we are being so I feel this bright star for today is you it is you shining your light is the best that you can be in where you are in your stage part of life as far as what maybe even your astrological natal chart will show you and especially with the energies of the planets at the moment still being all direct um, how much brighter that is and what how much uh, you know glow you can put out into the world to attract people oh what's some I want what she's got type of thing. I want to, you know, it, it's just that being the best you, shine your light. That's what our role is today. And as we move to the fox right in the centre, I think here we've got a, a creature of nature that's within its own nature is just out there trying to provide for what is the cubs, family itself, and from what I've evidenced as growing up on a farm, um, yes, we used to go spotlighting and doing all those farming things. <laughs> and you do tend to observe what some of those characteristics are in its natural realm of what a fox does. And they are so smart and they are wily. They can figure things out. 
And that's where I think for us, that pivot role, the outcome for us in today is as much as we can try to get what we want for ourselves and our home space, our families and all the rest, it doesn't always work. We sometimes come away disappointed because there we have others who influence. If we're trying to go for that chicken coop, for instance, that we... Um, you know, it's only to feed ourselves. Yes, it's with the right intention for, for what a fox has in its natural realm and, and abilities and want instincts, wanting to supply for, you know, we're all, we all get hungry. We all want food. We all want water. We all want shelter. Um, and we are interconnecting. We're influenced by other events and things around us. Now, the fox in this instance couldn't get to the chicken coop because the rooster's guarding it. It's that that we sometimes need to deal with what is not the outcome we expected. So we'll go off and we'll think about a different way of achieving or gaining that that we need for ourselves and still allowing <laughs> the natural instincts of the rooster to take part and protect his chickens and the coop that he's um, in front of. Um, that we ourselves are needing to sometimes move into a space and place where we need to think of alternatives and ways around. Well, it's not even around, it's not manipulating, it's just seeing the different perspective and the alternative of what we're doing. And you know, how we're ending our day, we're going to go back into that outcome and uh, you know, by the end of the day, think oh, now what have I achieved? Oh, I didn't quite get that done. I need to think of a different way to, to um, get what, I'd, what I need. Is it what you, you know, the, the wants and the needs, the differences between that? And I've just noticed that Dave has put up, hey, when do you do, when you do the cards, can you say what they are for us? Oh, that's just the same comment for those who can't see. Also, I'm still learning what each of them is, yep. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I read that comment before. Here's me thinking the bottom one's the recent one. It's not. Thanks, you're doing such a beautiful job of describing. And these cards seem to be amazing works of arts and symbols. This is so cool. Dave, they really are a beautiful set of cards. Um, yes, uh, I'm not sure. Do you have any sight or totally blind? I can't remember which level that you are on but they are a beautiful set of cards and it is if you can imagine the disappointment of a of a fox moving away from the chicken coop as it's not quite achieved what it needed to for it for itself in that point in time and shifting away from the you know its goal there are those times where we need to do that, but there's always going to be a way and the perfect timing for anything that we have as our intention. So in the evening tonight, just put to mind what things that you need to actually change perspective around and how you're needing to rethink what your actions are so that you can actually gain what you need tomorrow <laughs> I think might be the best way to summarize it oh good morning Michelle lovely to see you here in the and yes you'll be doing the replay uh, and Rosie you might be doing replay too so good morning to you as well lovely to see you all here now I am going to leave that there uh, so you're totally blind Dave have been all your life and yes the fox thing makes so much sense as a reptile keeper yourself Yes, you did mention that, that you're a reptile keeper. Wonderful that um, you can still join in. And I thank you that uh, <laughs> good feedback. <laughs> I'm doing okay with the descriptions. Uh, it, look, I, as much as I can, I'll describe the cards in more detail for you and everyone else, really. It may take that little bit extra time. But sometimes even with what we move through in our days, we're hurrying so much. The fox does hurry so much as well, uh, getting what they want. And that's actually the more most action card that's sitting there, really. The rest re does have a little bit more of the uh, decisions, the thought process and, and what's next. Oh, I suppose the well, we do need to go and actually use our physical beingness in taking those resources from the depths. 
so even if it's just meditation to contemplate what you need to learn from within that gives you the strength to continue onward with what is outwards from us so and thank you to Rena for that love it thank you so I will leave it there thank you so much for joining in on the body soul app there Dave and look we'll continue onward with tomorrow morning at about the eight o'clock and I uh, think just to for those who do like to have the card readings for individual little readings ah good morning Kim you're at work now so great cards they are great cards aren't they you have a great day too um leanne winston psychic medium does her uh, wednesday evening card reading uh, chat session that's tonight at 8 30 p.m on mytimetv.live and her own web page a uh, facebook page which would be oh, i think leanne winston anyway um have a look in the mytimetv.live because i am going to the YouTube channel, my Facebook page at Ros Boundy and the MyTimeTV.live and the card reading group. So, and also the Body Soul app, which is wonderful to connect with those uh, over there in a different space and place. It's a beautiful soul space. I love it. Now that I'm starting to use it every day for this as well, the abilities we have with technology. So thank you, Sarah, and you have a wonderful day as well. I do have a meditation with Medicine Drum at our local The Elliot Oak here at Port Elliot, South Australia. For those who are watching that are close enough to come along, that's 1 p.m. at The Elliot Oak today. And I think I've got a Thursday night one that uh, I have got in the book, booking session, booking, uh, that's the Calendly, which I don't have up. I'm just going to do that. Uh, put that in the comments it should come up i don't know if you have to put the w's in anymore so that's there as a link if you'd like to look at what my booking sheet is the ros boundy web oh hang on i better go back to my page <laughs> my face <laughs> sorry here's me here's me doing that all from the card spread um there's the oh, wrong hand the rosboundy.com.au is my website that i use the buy me a coffee if you just want to Oh, buy me a coffee. I like drinking it. But that has the little quick reading products in there somewhere. So just have a look at that. Or the currently, if you know what you'd like, and book direct with me. So thank you. There is readings on the currently as well, wherever that comments go. Comments? There somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I love being here every morning. So uh, keep safe. Keep being so, so much the best of you that you can be. Uh, because it's all we can be well it's not we can just yeah anyway be the best you and i'll see you later um oh okay yeah okay i'll see that so thank you michelle and uh thank you for letting me know and look we'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock and keep being the best you namaste till then bye